basic pet care needs. Guys, there's three. I'm going to share them with you today. Stay put. And stay tuned to the end of this video because I actually have an exclusive moment. I asked my hairdresser what she thought of some of my ideas for taking care of my hair. We'll see what she has to say about that. Tip number one, bathing your dog. Bathing your dog is very crucial to their health. Our dogs are exposed to bacteria and allergens every day. If their skin becomes sore or irritated due to lack of hygiene, it will invite bacteria in through the skin from the bacteria that they're exposed to. This is a common misconception that many pet owners are unaware of. Often this is diagnosed as skin allergies. But the truth is, a lot of skin problems simply occur because the dog's skin and coat wasn't cared for. It's not allergies, guys. It turns into be a skin problem, diagnosed as allergies. Years ago, people believed that it was not a good idea to bathe their dogs or their pets often. Wrong, wrong, wrong. In my opinion, the reason that they felt that way is because they were using things like Dawn dish soap and other human products to wash their dogs and bathe their dogs at home, causing skin problems because of the products that they were using on their pets. Here's the best tip about bathing your dog I can give you as a professional, bathe your dog. Bathe your dog. Get them on a schedule once a month, bathe your dog. Bathing your dog frequently at home with products designed for pets should be a big part of your care for your pet at home. And that's the truth, guys. Bathe your dogs. Tip two, brush your dog. It is very important to brush your dog, guys. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna give you the reasons why right here today. Brushing your dog helps distribute the natural oils in your dog's coat, as well as prevent excess buildup of those oils, dander as well, and including allergens. Brushing your dog also increases the blood flow to the skin to help maintain healthy skin and coat. Brushing your dog not only becomes personal one-on-one -on -one bonding time with your pet, but routine brushing keeps you aware of any new issues that may surface regarding your dog's skin and coat. Brushing your dog is often the perfect time to check your dog for fleas and ticks or new warts that may have surfaced that you need to keep an eye on or maybe even sometimes little tumors will develop. You know, this, this is normal. It happens. But when you're brushing your dog routinely, it allows you to find these things in their skin and coat. Keep an eye on it. This is a dog's hair follicle. After about six months of age, one follicle shares many hairs. They can become irritated. The follicle can get irritated if you don't brush out the dead hair from those follicles. This is those little bumps we see on our dog's skin, guys. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about with brushing is the fact that if we don't brush our dogs, all this dead hair builds up in the coat, not just in, in their tails and their ears, all through the dog. The only way to remove dead hair from your dog's coat is to brush it. And if your dog is a shedding breed, you're gonna have a buildup of dander and undercoat in that coat. You have to brush them. Tip three, trim your dog's nails. If you can't do it, take them to a professional groomer. You can get this done for about five, eight, ten dollars. It's worth it, guys. I'm going to tell you why. One of the biggest reasons it's important to trim your dog's nails is because they can become too overgrown. The nail could break, crack, it can get caught into things, causing a trip to the vet or unnecessary injury. If you're not comfortable trimming your dog's nails at home, then don't do it. Don't sweat it, guys. Call a professional groomer or a vet and make an appointment. Have them take care of it for you. Take that off your plate. But it is very important to have it done and to have it done about no longer than about every six weeks. Schedule a standing appointment every six weeks to have your dog's nails trimmed at a groomer's for around $10.00. Just let them worry about it. They'll take care of it while you wait. Now let's go talk to my hairdresser and see what she has to say about skin, hair, scalp care, and how it varies and how it's similar to pet skin and coat care. Dina, how often do I come to see you? Oh, I think it's like every eight weeks. What yes. are you doing today? So we are creating a little bit more diffusion. We're highlighting in the roots, so we're gonna keep a little bit of greediness and contrast, just soften it up a little bit. Ooh. They get that beautiful blonde that Amy would be good in. You mean that's not natural? I have a question for you. Yes. I come every eight weeks, right? Yes. yes. Do you think it would be okay if, 
if next time I come in eight weeks, so I just didn't brush my hair at all for eight weeks. Oh, it would be a matty mess. You wouldn't what? be able to get through it. It would be uncomfortable and itchy for you. You, you mean really? If, mm -hmm. if I didn't brush my hair for eight weeks? Yes. Well, what if I didn't brush it for two weeks? Still, same thing. Just from wear and tear, those follicles rub each other and they create a mat. It creates a mat. Mm -hmm. So people can get matted, just like dogs. People get matted. I have seen them and <laughs> had to fix them and cut them out. Yes. I have to cut mats sometimes out of dogs. Yes. I try to explain it to the owners when they come in and the dogs have mats. And I'm like, oh gosh, I don't know what I'll be able to do with that. Mm -hmm. And they go, well, I don't like it short. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another question. Yes. So what if we just get my hair cut short? Do I still need to brush it? Yes, of course. Why? You have to, to keep it beautiful. Well, well, what if I don't brush it? Is that good for my scalp? No, you need to exfoliate the scalp. What's that keep mean? Keep healthy. So you get rid of all the dead skin cells, and then you also increase blood flow, which creates healthier hair. It's more beautiful and shiny. So it must be healthy for my skin, too. It is, very much so. If I brush my hair, even if I don't have much hair. Still brush it. You're brushing to create healthy scalp, which grows your hair, creates your hair. That's a beautiful result. You're so smart. You know, it's no oh. wonder I've been coming here for a hundred years. Oh, we have fun. <laughs> ah, we do. I have one more question. Yes. I use different products on my hair. You know that yes. I use everything. I do everything you tell you me do because everything right. you are my professional. Okay. That's why I come to see you. That's why you're a good client of beautiful hair. I think I would like to start washing my hair with Dawn dish soap. <laughs> what? Dawn dish soap? No, you'll be a frizzy mess. Well, it, frizzy, that frizzy couldn't mess. hurt me at all, could it? Oh, yes. You'll be itchy. You'll be uncomfortable. Uh-oh. I'm hearing all it the other... It dry. All the other beauticians in the salon You're are getting it. mad. Yes. They're all saying, down. don't do that. I think some of my clients use dish soap on their dogs. Well, they wouldn't like it if it was used on them. Don't use it on your dog. Do you think it would dry it? Very much so. Could that cause a, could that cause a bad reproduction of, of oils and, yes. and, a, and like it actually could. allergies or yes, something like that? It could. If they use Dawn dish soap to take oil off the penguins, you don't want to use it on your hair. Our hair and scalp and skin is a little similar to how we should take a look at taking care of our pets. Yes, their exactly. skin and coat. You want to be happy and healthy, they want to be happy and healthy. I like that. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Dina. You're welcome. My pleasure. I will brush my hair. Thank you. I promise. Thank you. Don't forget, guys, there are pet wash stations all around you. You need to find the right one that you like. You can take care of a lot of these needs for your pets at these facilities. They're set up for you. They take all the stress out of it, and they're affordable and you'll maintain your dog coat and skin, keep everybody healthy, a lot less trips to the vet, guys. We don't want trips to the vet. Videos helped you guys, like it and share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I would love to share more of these secrets with you.